Welcome to email security section. In this lecture, we will talk about how to verify senders and links in emails. There are over 200 billion emails sent worldwide every day. An average office worker today receives well over 150 emails per day. And taking this into account and the fact that over a billion of emails sent daily are malicious, how does one tell that an email is legit and is sent by whoever it says it was sent by? Let's dive into the basics of email headers here. What's an email header? Every email message you receive has a part that is called headers. Headers come in the very beginning head of an email. Headers contain information about the routing of the message and the original IP address of the message. Although headers don't contain any personal information, they can be used to trace the original source of an email. At least they can show you the origination IP and the computer name that sent the email and uh, most likely determine the city and the ISP the sender used. Headers of any message can be easily viewed in an email service or software by viewing the email source. Here is a list that contains a few popular mail services and clients. Gmail. You log into your account, open a message, and click an arrow on the top right of the message and select Show Original. Now you will be able to see the complete message source, including headers. Yahoo Mail. Log into your account, click the message to open it, then you choose More and select View Raw Message. Hotmail Webmail or Live Mail. Log into your account, go to the message list. Right-click on the message and select View Message Source. If your service is not in the list, please refer to the link you see on the screens. Let's take a look at an example of an email header. Uh, we just open the letter and among the options choose Show Original. This is the actual mail. And this is headers. As you can see, there's a ton of information here. And it's pretty hard to interpret for an ordinary user. You can see the from line here that means to tell you who is the sender of the message. And the problem is that this line could be faked easily. So you should not rely on this information. To make it easier to analyze email headers, you can use special tools such as these two, for example. Okay, for an example, we will use the Google Apps toolbox. When you use the Google tool, you can see three main fields that say pass in green color. These fields are SPF, DKIM, and DMARK. Let's take a look at what they tell us about. Mail Transfer Protocol SMTP, assumes that the sender can specify any mailbox. It is possible to send an email substituting the from field with any value you like. This process is called email spoofing. To fight email spoofing, SPF or Sender Policy Framework has been developed and put into standard. SPF allows a domain owner to specify a TXT DNS record, a specially crafted string indicating the list of servers that have the right to send the mail message with a return address in that domain. Thus, SPF check is a key to ensure the message was sent by whom it says it was sent. DKIM stays for Domain Key Identified Mail and defines a domain-level digital signature authentication framework for email by permitting a signing domain 
to assert responsibility for a message in transit. DKIM identifies the sender and their email signing practices, as well as the integrity of the message contents. This authentication of responsibility for a message is validated via a cryptographic signature and querying the signer's domain to retrieve a public key. If in short, a DKIM record is a component of a system that allows your server to cryptographically sign your email messages so that recipients can, if they like, confirm that a message came from you. DMARC Spammers can sometimes forge the from address on email messages so the spam appears to come from a user in your domain. To help prevent this sort of abuse, dmark.org gives domain owners uh, more control over what Gmail does with spam email messages from their domain. For more information on dmark, you can refer to this page. And one more thing, you also want to make sure that the reply to field refers to the same domain in case of personal email to the same email address at the from field. This is the key to tell by naked eye that the email was sent by whom it says it was sent and that your reply will go to the address that is stated in the from field. Ok, now let's take a look how to verify links in messages we receive. There are three easy steps you can do to verify links in emails. Look at the pop-up, look at the copied URL and look into the message HTML source. Let's see an example. So I will switch to a message in my Outlook client. This is a message from my sister. And I got a link here pointing to your docs.com account. And maybe it's not she who sent this message and maybe this link doesn't point to where it says it points. Let's check it out. So the first step we can do is to put the mouse over the link and you see the pop-up which shows where exactly this link will lead us. It says docs.com backslash Rebeshkova. The same destination URL you can see in the left down corner of the screen in your email client and most email clients support this feature as well. Ok, so the next thing we can do is right click on the link and copy the URL. Then we can just open for example the notepad, paste this URL and check it out. If it's different from the link you see in your message it should alarm you. Ok, and the second step we can do is to take a look at the HTML source of the message. To do this, we can go, for example, to the web client of my mail provider. Then we open the message and open the window with the source of the web page. And here you can find this link and check if href refers to the same address that it says it refers to. Or you can just right-click on the link in Chrome and choose Inspect. It will at once show you the highlighted part of the source code that refers to that link. And you can also go on and check the link if it points to the correct website. That is simple as it is. Ok, now you are fully armed.